Howdy everybody, this is Ken, your friendly neighborhood communications manager over at My Little Salesman, and I've got a question for you. How would you like to easily obtain buyer signatures on any number of forms and keep record of such within one management system? Well, with DocuSign integration with the My Little Salesman dealer technology solution system, you absolutely can, and it couldn't be any easier to set up and use. But first off, who might want to use this DocuSign integration and why? Well, let's say that you've got some heavy equipment for sale through My Little Salesman. Maybe some semi-trucks, trailers, earth movers, parts, you name it. And you want to be able to easily email your item or deal-related forms to buyers in order to get their binding electronic signature on said forms using your DocuSign account, all the while keeping everything accounted for in your My Little Salesman system. Sounds simple enough, right? Well, without an integration, aka the old way, you would need to fill out and format signature sections of the forms properly in DocuSign, send them to the proper contact, make sure you get them back, export them, manually record that the signatures were obtained in your sales management system, and so on. Way too many steps, if you ask me, especially if you're sending out a lot of documentation on a regular basis. So, instead, your heavy equipment sales partners here at My Little Salesman have created a way to not only send off forms to buyers to be signed within your dealer technology solution system, but to do so without ever having to open DocuSign, as well as in a way that allows you to monitor the signature status of the forms you've submitted. So let's jump into how easy this is with a little bit of context using the deals section of your My Little Salesman sales desk. So you'll see here, that you're on mylittlesalesman.com and logged in. In order to get to the deal section of the sales desk, you go over to the left-hand side here, select the pointer icon, which gives you some drop-down options. We're gonna go to deals. On the deals page, you'll see all of the deals that you're managing that are in varying stages. For, for the sake of this example, I'm going to select this deal number three, which is a Peterbilt dump truck for which I'm wanting to get a buyer guide paperwork signed for by the buyer without leaving the sales desk. So we've successfully sold this dump truck and now we're going to submit the buyer guide paperwork for them to sign uh, so that we have a record of what kind of warranty expectations were agreed upon at the time of sale. So in order to access the forms, you're going to see a number of these tile-like button selections up top, and you're going to find forms. If you don't see it, you may need to select this uh, arrow icon in order to get to it. But for the sake of this, I don't. Okay, on the forms section, scrolling down a bit, you'll see any official forms associated with your My Little Salesman account that you'll need to send to your buyers. Now, you may be saying to yourself, hey, I don't see anything right here. And you might not, and that's because you would need to upload the relevant forms associated with your deals. And you can do that pretty simply by reaching out to us at support at mlsinc.com with the forms you'd like to include. So each of the forms you submit to us will have their fields mapped, so automatically aligned with your My Little Salesman contact management database and the associated deals. So let's see what I mean by this. If I open up the associated buyer's guide with this deal by clicking on it here, you'll notice that uh, all of the fields are editable. So since we didn't actually have the VIN number for this fictitious Peterbilt dump truck, you could be able to enter that here if you wanted to, you know, whatever it is. So before I send this off, I can include that information that I want. In addition uh, to this, any information you have in your My Little Salesman database will automatically be imported. Uh, where the information goes. This was actually pulled in automatically. Uh, earlier we had edited it to say that there's no warranty on this 1994 Peterbilt pickup truck. You know, it's an older, not pickup truck, a dump truck. It's older, so there might not be a warranty involved with that. Still, you could also manually enter all the things included by the warranty if you wanted to here, a service contract and the like. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we see that your dealer information is automatically synced in. 
still, if we scroll down to the very bottom here, there's a spot that we cannot edit, signatures. So how do we obtain a binding signature on this buyer's guide from within your My Little Salesman system? So let's hop out of the form and set up our DocuSign integration. And after that, uh, I'll show you how we can easily send this over to our buyer contact so they can provide the necessary John Hancock to make this form official. And then I'll show you how we can track all of this virtually in real time without ever leaving the sales desk. So just a quick disclaimer, for this to work, you're going to need an established DocuSign account. As a DocuSign partner here at My Little Salesman, we are more than ready to help you with a referral. So you can simply reach out to us at support at mlsinc.com to get the ball rolling on your DocuSign account. Okay, back to connecting your DocuSign account with your My Little Salesman dealer technology solutions system. Okay, making sure that you're logged in. On the left side panel, you're gonna locate the account management tab here and click this icon to bring up drop-down options. And from these options, we're going to select Seller Settings. From the Seller Settings section, you're gonna head back up to the tile-like selections here until you find Integrations and click on that. Among the listed integrations, you should see a DocuSign section with a blue Connect button. Right now, this says disconnect for me because mine is already connected, but yours is going to be a blue connect button that you're going to click, and it will ask for your DocuSign credentials. After that, you put those in, you use the configuration tab here uh, to make sure that all of your account details are squared away. So once your DocuSign integration is complete, let's take this puppy for a test drive. I'm going to return to that dump truck deal in need of a signed buyer's guide. So I'm gonna head back up to sales desk. Deals, deal number three, back up to forms. And we see this buyer's guide here. You'll also notice something different after you've integrated your DocuSign account that a DocuSign button magically appears here where there wasn't one before. Upon selecting this, we're going to want to send a request for a DocuSign signature from within your deals system. So you can select this, make sure it's appropriately selected. And we're going to put in the signer's name and email address. I'm going to pretend that that is me. Just for the sake of not annoying anybody for this demonstration. In this, you can see that you can put a co-signer's name and email, a seller's name, well, that's you, uh, any carbon copies that you want to include on this, and provide a custom email subject. You can see that I've done this a couple times. So I'm going to include, uh, sign this for me again. Please, I'll be nice about it. And you can include a message here. Uh, you might want to include instructions in case the person signing this isn't actually quite sure and understanding of what you're sending them. So I'm going to put, howdy Ken, here is that uh, buyer's guide telling you about so that we all understand that there's no warranty on this 1994 Peterbilt dump truck. If you could sign this for me, that would be very helpful. Thanks, Ken. Once you have that custom message put in there, if you want to include one, make sure that the proper forms are attached. Buyer's guide, that's all I wanted to attach. If you wanted to send all the other ones, you could do that as well. Use your DocuSign settings. You can set an expiration date for this DocuSign request if you want to. If, it, if a particular uh, deal cuts off at a certain time, you can set up daily reminders for this just to make sure that you actually get it and hit submit. And Bob's your uncle 
this is sent off to them. Now let's see what it looks like on the recipient side. Okay, here is the email that I received from DocuSign sent through my little salesman. It has the same exact subject line that I wrote and the specific instructions. So it has to sign this for me. Again, please, if I scroll down, here is the instructions I put in there earlier. And a button to actually review and sign the document. I hit continue. And here's the actual document right here. So I can examine the uh, form in question and I can scroll down to the bottom where it tells me precisely where to sign. And it's already mapped out for you. And then I would hit finish in order to sign that. Now before I sign this I want to show you another helpful feature electronic signature tracking. To access this, we're going to return to this dump truck deal in question on your deals panel within your My Little Salesman sales desk. Okay, we're back at deal three. And if you head over to a new button that became available when you had your DocuSign integration, this electronic signatures tab. From here, you can actually see the status of the electronic signature requests you've submitted. Uh, we can see here that the buyer has received their buyer's guide but has not signed it yet. So it's been delivered, not completed. Well, let's change that. I'm going to go back to the document, click Finish. Okay, and when I hit the Refresh button here, it should show something very different. Completed. And there you have it, our full DocuSign integration with My Little Salesman that allows you to request and manage buyer signatures on virtually anything without ever having to leave your system. Well, that is going to do it for this walkthrough announcement tutorial. I hope you had as much fun as I had looking at this latest feature, DocuSign integration with My Little Salesman. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at mylittlesalesman.com for all of your heavy equipment sales needs. I'm Ken, and I hope you had a good one.